Thanks so much for coming on today, ladies. Hillary, let me start with you. You can comment on Disney, House of Mouse making some job cuts there, and then also just the latest companies that have really gone through and, and eliminated some employees' positions. Well, good morning. Great to be back with you, Emma and Sean and Krisha. A few things here, actually, with regard to Disney. Total overall, your correspondent who did the live report there, totally correct, another 4,000. For a total of 7,000 since February, they're looking to save 5.5 billion. One thing that's not being talked about very much because it's not a big issue in the U.S., is the millions of subscribers in India that they've lost due to the live streaming of cricket. We don't think of cricket much here in the US, but it's a huge issue across the globe. In terms of actual Disney theme parks, they are letting go of some employees, but not the frontline workers. They're also letting go of many that are working in the metaverse. You ask me about other companies. What I'm seeing across the nation, including my clients and nationally, a couple of things. One. All of the CEOs mention this word efficiency. There's a drive for efficiency with the anticipation of a downturn of, of a, the economy, as well as what's already happening, number one. Number two, very importantly, uh, the Wall Street Journal actually coined this as the rich essence. What does that mean? Meaning that it's not necessarily, like I mentioned with the theme park, it's not necessarily the frontline workers lo losing their roles. It's this middle level management where lots of people are viewed as being disposable and some content people, the content designers, the people that are creating the future remain, but a lot of techies are being let go across the nation, looked at as excess tech talent. Why would that be something to watch for as the markets open, Krisha? Well, it's ind indicative of the larger media landscape, as you were just discussing earlier on the show. I think that these Disney layoffs are also a part of it because, as Hillary mentioned, it's efficiency, it's cost cutting, it's seeing where there might be redundancies. As Hillary mentioned, should be um, laid off here, but um, people who've been around at Disney for 43 years, their vice president of communication was just laid off, second longest tenured individual at the company. And this just speaks volumes as to what is happening as to these layoffs and what's to come. There's expected to be more layoffs at Disney, a third round earlier this summer, 7,000 jobs in total, $5.5 billion in their restructuring. But one last thing about ESPN. This actually might be good for them because as they break from Disney, which we're expected to see in their earnings report this November, they're expected to report separately from Disney all of these restructurings across the board when it comes to media. That is Hillary Fordwich, Chris Lorenzo weighing in here. We appreciate that. Thank you both for your time.